Hey everyone, so it's been a little bit since we talked about these beauties in the uber luxury field of things. So I thought we would grab one of their frames, a classic aviator style, though um, I question how much I can call any of these styles classic as exotic as they are, but they do have some classic inspirations and I love the twist she puts on them part of why I love this collection. But let's take a look at the one known as the Boss or Le Boss and let's have some fun. All right, so let's meet the Boss up close and personal. We'll start back from the edge of the temple and come forward as we go through it, just because I like to get that nice pan. The temple design on these, as always, has incredible attention to detail. So we've got almost that stacked AKK logo coming all the way from the back to the front, embossed a little bit larger here as we get closer to that front three quarters. Of course, adding some extra thickness and heft to the front. And then, this is where it gets really, really different. Nicely set stones all the way from the back to that leading edge with a slight variation on that corner. And of course, one more popping up to say hi right at the front of the frame. And I always like to get that defocus where you can really see the pop and the light, the way it refracts through each of the stones. Yeah, that's my optical nerd side coming out. You have to deal with it. Now, as we come around the front, as I mentioned, this is a traditional aviator inspired shape, and you can see that form factor pops up pretty nicely on these guys. It's been a little bit more geometricized. Is that even a word? Eh, it's a word today. So you've got this almost octagon corner here, some nice angles and structure to it. So typically where an aviator would not be able to be worn with somebody with a little bit more rounded, softer features of a face, this one's gonna work in that case as well because you have more angles, more structure with a thicker brow line. And of course, the attention is gonna be on this guy anyways. Once you walk into a room with this frame, it's taking the attention whether you want it or not. Just like driving an exotic car, this guy demands attention. I did say the name was Le Boss, did I not? Yeah. So stretch your stuff, be the boss, wear this guy, show off the incredible details. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of look at the back and see what we've got. So on these, of course, the titanium pads with a little bit of coating around them just to help with comfort and durability on these. Lord, my camera is not cooperating today. There we go. And of course the embossed AKK logo. These little insignias in the lenses you see are the markings from Zeiss. So you know you've got incredibly crisp optics to work with in this frame and the lenses are going to last. They're going to work well. They're gonna be sharp and clear. As far as the manufacturing, just like everything else, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful welds. Incredible plated finish on these. So this is gonna be a titanium base. And then it is 24 karat finish dipped. In this case, it is 24 karat white gold. And again, that incredible defocus across the bear, bra, bleh, brow line. So we can see those gorgeous stones showing off. And what I really love on this one, I'm not typically a fan of factory tinted lenses because of the fashion gradients. They're either the wrong color for the frame, they're not consistent, they're not replicatable. They're just not good. Now that's one thing coming across with his eyes. These are gonna be ophthalmic grade. We can replicate these in most cases for a prescription pair. Now this one obviously has some other limitations we'd have to keep in mind when creating a prescription pair, but it would not be the craziest I have done yet, not even remotely. So that's just something nice. And I do love, she does a very beautiful job selecting the right colors for the right frames. This light blue gradient, easily worn indoors, but still nice for outdoors. Overall weight is pretty lightweight because you've got that titanium base to begin with. 
And I just think it does a nice, nice job of being really well balanced, which is hard to find in these typically more front heavy frames. So this is not something you see very often where it's thought out to balance nicely across the face rather than being very, very front heavy. Now, as it always goes, the day I can talk about a frame this incredible without putting it on and showing off a little personality and flair is the day that I quit doing this and I stop doing these videos because I absolutely love this kind of stuff. As I mentioned, the attention to detail is incredible. The fit and feel on the face, it's a little bit larger than I like for me. Still does nicely for that oversized look on a smaller or more average size face, but it's also gonna fit really really well and be amazing on a little bit bigger head and as i mentioned that tent you know we're indoors you've got a little bit of that silver flash mirror you can still see the eyes okay so you can wear these you can do whatever shopping you need to do i can still see pretty well off at the distance even inside of these these don't really darken up things looking out enough to not be able to wear and use it and i'm spinning and dancing and doing weird things i'm going to try and stop and stay still so you guys aren't looking at the entire world but yeah, so again, overall feel of these is really, really nice. It's what you would expect when you get into a frame of this caliber. Price point on these is definitely far above some of your normal types of sunglasses. It's what you should expect for something like this to be really well made and still have this kind of attention to detail and the extra embellishments and adornments across the frame. It's not low. These ring in just under $2,000. They're gonna be right around $1,800 if I remember correctly, somewhere in that ballpark. Of course, if you're interested in something this exotic, we definitely have options. We can hook you up. I will have links down to this particular guy in the section below in the comments and in the description. But come on, this is gorgeous. Even if you don't need it or can't afford it, you can appreciate the incredible attention to detail on these. And I need to stop salivating and drooling over them. That's why I try not to talk about these too often. I get a little rosy cheeked talking about these guys. Maybe it's the mask, I don't know, but I need to stop. So, on that note, have you ever seen frames of this caliber before? If not, let me know. If you have, let me know whatever brands you've seen like this because there definitely aren't many out there and I like to know who they are. But let me know what you thought of this video and this format. I've been doing it this way for a little while, so let me know your thoughts below. Thanks. Catch you guys next time.